Hello class, this is Mr. Sutton, and today we're going to be talking about some geometric transformations, uh, translations, and reflections. So the definition of translation, make sure you write this down, is moving a figure with no other changes. So a translation is a type of transformation where we move a figure either on a coordinate plane, usually on a coordinate plane, um, and we make no other changes to it. So the size stays the same. Uh, the points are in the same order. We do not rotate it. We do not reflect it in any way. We just simply shift it up and down or left to right. So here we have a question based off a of translation. What is the image of a point 2 comma 7 after a translation left 4 units and up 2 units? So I went ahead and plotted this coordinate, 2, comma, 7. So we go to the right 2, up 7. Uh, so then it says, after translation, left 4 units and up 2 units. So we want to go ahead and move this point left 4 and up 2. So I went ahead and extended this, gave myself some more room. So left 4 units, that would put us at negative 2. And then up 2 units would put us at... 9. So our new coordinate would be negative 2 comma 9. Here we want to translate this uh, polygon here. This is a quadrilateral of some kind. We have four sides here. So we're going to translate this figure five units to the right and two units down. And so we want to go ahead and do this point by point. So I'm going to go ahead and assign all of these points uh, with names here, so A, B, C, D, so that I can keep track of the order and make sure that I'm doing things right. So I'm going to start with A, so that needs to go five units to the right and two units down. So that would be right here, so one, two, three, four, five, and then down one, two. And I called it A prime, just so I know that it corresponds to A, but I also know that it's a different point now. So I'm going to do the same thing to B, C, and D now. So B would be here, C would be here, and D would be here. And this is why it's important to uh, name your points and make sure you uh, understand how they correspond to each other because you'll notice here it does get kind of confusing, especially when your original figure and your new figure overlap. So now we're going to go ahead and connect these points so we can see that it makes the same shape as what we had before. So that is roughly what it would look like. I am freehand drawing this instead of actually using the computer program, so it's a little sloppier, but that is what it would look like. Make sure you have those examples down for translations. Uh, now we're going to move on to reflections here. So a reflection, the definition is a geometric transformation that results in a mirror image. So think reflection, mirror image, we're gonna have some sort of line of symmetry that we are reflecting across for this transformation. Make sure you write this down. So here we have this figure here. This is a five-sided polygon that we are reflecting across this line, x equals negative two. So we want to plot all of the points of the reflected figure. Once again, I am going to assign these points names so that I can keep track of which ones correspond to each other. And usually how I do this is I start with the ones that are closest to the line I'm reflecting across. That's just the easiest way for me to do it. So I'm going to start with C. That is only one point away from the line of symmetry here. So that C prime would go right here. Then we can move on to B. That is one, two, three points away. So one, two, three. B prime would go right here. D is one, two, three, four points away, so one, two, three, four. E is one, two, three, four points away as well, and it's just two points up from D, so I'm gonna do that same thing here. And 
and then A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should go right there. So when you connect all of these points, it should look something like this. And we can see that this is a mirror image of the original shape. All right, the point N is plotted on the coordinate grid below. Plot the point N prime, uh, the reflection of N over the Y axis. So we can also say axes are uh, lines of reflection. Uh, so sometimes you'll be given a line. Sometimes it'll just tell you to reflect over an axis. So here we have the Y axis and we want to reflect this point N over it so it should be should go somewhere over here our n prime so let's see how many points away it is one two three four five six we could also see it's at point negative six comma five so that would be over here six points away on the other side one two three four five six so if n is negative six, five, and prime would be six comma five if we are reflecting over the y axis. All right, so this is the last one I have here for reflection, I believe, and it does not give us a graph here. It says point H is located on two comma negative two on the coordinate plane. Point H is reflected over the X axis to create point H prime. Uh, point H prime is then reflected over the Y axis to create point H double prime. What ordered pair describes the location of point H? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a, a coordinate plane and we have point H at two, negative two. So the first thing we want to do is point H is reflected over the X axis to create point H prime. So we want to reflect this guy over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we reflected over the X axis instead of two points below. Now it's two points above. Nothing changed left to right yet. So that is H prime. Uh, and then point H prime is reflected over the Y axis to create point H double prime. So now we want to, this is the Y axis going up and down. So now we want to reflect over that. So it should go over there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now we ended up over here. So instead of two points to the right, now it's two points to the left. Nothing changed up or down this time because we are reflecting it from the right side to the left side. So this is our H double prime so what ordered pair describes the location of h double prime let's figure out where we ended up so that is uh, the x coordinate of negative two and the y coordinate of positive two so h double prime would be negative two comma two in this case so that is how you figure out something like this i recommend graphing it i know in this case uh the numbers worked out pretty easily but if we uh, we're looking at something different where we didn't have uh, the same numbers for both the x and the y coordinates. Things could change a little bit. So this is, I believe, well, yep, this is the last slide I have for this. So if you have any questions over uh, translations or reflections, make sure you are going to teacher's office hours. Make sure you are asking questions during class and have a good day.